All right, money makers. So let me quickly break down what's going on. So, um, Gabby Douglas teammates had came out, I think last year, or it might have been the year before, but they come out, you know, a little while back and um, brought up the accusations of uh, that the gymnastic team doctor Larry Nazar were um he was sexually assaulting them so he went to court on this in february he um is facing 22 counts of criminal sexual assault uh five counts i think it said was children um under 13 i i um think he also has some child uh pornography charges brought against him and uh, stating in the um, article that I was reading, it was saying that, you know, basically from a reliable source that he's going to go back and plead guilty. Um, but anyway, have you, if he takes the plea deal, he's supposed to be looking at about 25 years in, you know, um, prison or whatever. So last week, um, Ali... Alexandra Reisman, uh, she had posted the Instagram post, and Gabby Douglas had got under it and made a comment, and basically the comment kind of backfired um, on Gabby, and it kind of to me um, kind of provoked her to, you know, say, well, hey, look, you know, basically I was molested as well. Um, and, uh, gave out this, you know, big, long, heartfelt apology. So, um, Allie Instagram goes as follow. We are all in this together. If we're going to create change, I need all your help. Sexually abuse her ever. Women are allowed to feel sexy and comfortable in their own skin. In fact, I encourage you all to wear what you feel good in. I will not put up with any women or well, any woman or girl being shamed for wanting to wear a skirt, dress, etc. I do not tolerate it. Are we clear? Oh, and one more thing. Stop victim shaming. It is because of you that so many survivors live in fear. Okay, now Gabby had said, however, it is our responsibility as women to dress modestly and be classy. Dressing in a provocative sexual way entices the wrong crowd. So after she posted that, basically, like all her fans and, you know, some of the teammates had, you know, started talking about her and basically saying, you know, she was shaming the victim and, you know, kind of bashing her and bringing her down. Uh, one of her teammates, uh, Simone Biles, says, shocks me that I'm seeing this. But it doesn't surprise me. Honestly, seeing this brings me to tears because as your teammate, I expected more from you and to support her. I support you, Allie, and all the other women out there. Stay strong. And and, and this is all with the backlash and um, Gabby Douglas coming out, making her claims against the doctor as well. This is all happening today, you know, November 7th, November the um, uh, 21st. I'm sorry. Um, these, the Instagrams and the tweets went out around the 17th, okay? But her making her statement and apology and accusations came out today tuesday so gabby goes on after um everyone was going in on her and states this as follows first i want to reiterate 
my apology for responding the way I did. To a comment that one of my teammates posted, I know some of you may take what I am about to say as insincere, but I still wanted to provide context. The day before I commented, I was at an event where hundreds of children and young adults came to spend an evening with me. It is very humbling when many people look up to you as an example. I take my job as a role model very seriously and I always want to do my best to represent all the best qualities that a role model should embody. I admit there are times that I fall short. I did view my comment as victim shaming because I know that no matter what you wear, it never gives anyone the right to harass or abuse you. It would be like saying that because of the leotards we wore, it was our fault that we were abused by Larry Nazar. I didn't publicly publicly share my experiences as well as many other things because for years we were conditioned to stay silent and honestly some things were extremely painful i wholeheartedly support my teammates for coming forth with what happened to them i understand that many of you don't Many of you didn't know what I was dealing with, but it's important to me that you at least know this. I do not advocate victim shaming, blaming in any way, shape or form. I will also never support attacking or bullying anyone on social media or any anywhere else. Please forgive me for not being more responsible with how I handled the situation. To every other individual that commented to or about me hatefully, I apologize that I let you down too. I will never stop promoting unity, positive, positivity, strength, being courageous, and doing good instead of evil. I have learned from this and I'm determined to be even better. All my love, Gabby. Now, that's what she posted to, uh, today, you know, um, well, Tuesday. Y'all will probably get this on Wednesday sometimes. But anyway, this is what happened on Tuesday, the 21st. Um, so I just feel like. Maybe it took that backlash for her to come forth. And I know some people are probably going to say that, hey, she's lying, you know, you know, it's probably something in it for or something. I don't know. But I am going. Well, I mean, like, I feel like that, you know, it's true. I feel like she could have been, you know sexually assaulted as well because he has 22 counts of sexual assault and um as stated five cases as we know are related to victims that are uh 13 years old or possibly under so i feel like they pretty much got him caught red-handed and I must stay on top and see um, what comes out of his trial and his sentencing when he goes back for sentencing. And we'll see how that goes. But my heart just really goes out to all of them. Um, the whole sexual assault and, you know, uh, basically sodomizing little girls and, you know, women or young adults. It really you know, disturbs me. It hits a, a bad place for me. And I hope justice, you know, is served for all of those young ladies. And if there are more, you know, that haven't stepped forward, I just strongly encourage that they do so before the sentencing because maybe, you know, it could be more charges and a little more time added on to him because perverts like that need to be dealt with and you know sometimes we do have to put our faith in the judicial system to 
you know, do the dealings. And I hope in this case that it be a job well done and he gets, you know, you know, what's coming to him basically. Um, but yeah, I will bring updates as I hear more on this, but just wanted, uh, you know, you all to know that pertaining to this case now, Gabby Douglas is um, bringing um, accusations that she was also sexually assaulted as well. Um, As far as what she said, yeah, I kind of feel like, you know, she's being insensitive, but maybe it was just from a place of anger. You know, maybe she flashed back and, you know, thought about what she went through and then when she come back to recant you know like how she stated just because you know we wore the leotards don't make it right maybe at one point she felt like it was her fault because of the little outfits that they were wearing because see um my daughter is into this whole gymnastic thing and I promise you it's like all last week I watched so much Gabby Douglas footage till i'm in here doing flips and um you know that's why this right here was like real you know shocking to me knowing that i was just sat here for days and watch you know this girl flip across my tv screen and you know my child trying to mimic it so like i say once again my heart goes out to all the young ladies and i truly hope justice is served and um, please check back with updates on this story. Um, I do have a little more information that I will try to sh- get to you and share about some of the other young ladies. But until further notice, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video, Moneymakers. Peace.